Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna to be talking about Ethel's genetics and what I really think of them and all that stuff. But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for one-on-one -on -one grow help, tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also, don't forget, if you wanna come chill with us, you wanna check out our grows, be sure to join us on Discord. Link to that will also be in the description below. So I'm gonna give you guys as much information about Ethel's genetics as I possibly could. I'm gonna share you guys my experience without, I can't show you the actual grows, what we got going on. That's what Discord is for, for you know obvious monetization reasons now. I know some people are asking, other creators show it, other creators do this. Guys, listen, I don't really care what other creators do. I, I don't watch other creators really. Anyway, we're gonna get into this real quick. We're gonna talk about the history. I don't really know a crazy amount about Ethos Genetics, but I'm going to try my best to tell you guys what I really think of them on this current run that we got going on. So I don't know a crazy amount about Ethos, but it is run by a guy named Colin. Those of you that run Ethos probably already know who Colin is, and I haven't talked to him personally, but I did get a good vibe. I've seen his Instagram. He is knowledgeable and really works on his craft. Now, some of you probably might be asking, what made you pick Ethos? What made you try Ethos? I don't really know. Like, I feel like a lot of people in the comment section were saying, oh yeah, you gotta try Ethos, but it was like, it wasn't like one, two, three people. I mean, it was a lot of people were like, you gotta check out Ethos Genetics, and I heard, you know, I heard a lot of great stuff, people talking up Ethos, and I'm like, and then I went to go on Ethos' website, and oh my God, like, if you go on their website and you look at all the different stuff that they got, all the different flowers they got going on, they just look so pretty, so crystally, so frosty, I don't know, there's just something about, even just looking Looking at the pictures, like they just look like really awesome strains. I was looking through all the different strains that they got going on, and I love looking at the description and you know if it's indica, sativa, you know the flowering times. Even though you don't really pay that much attention to the flowering times, because you know that can always vary. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it all depends on the genotype, of course. But it's still fun to look at, is what I'm saying. And while I was looking at Ethos's all the different strains they got going on. I was just like, you know what? I really wanna try them out. I haven't really heard a lot of bad things about Ethos, but as a lot of you guys know, we've been running with the Mandarin Cookies V2. We are having some pretty good results with that. But we're gonna get into that. I just wanted to tell you what made me wanna try Ethos. Now, as far as the experience with Ethos as of now, now when I first started this whole run, it felt almost like the Ethos was going a little bit slower than the other stuff because we also have two Agent Orange from ILGM and my boy Chris threw some beans my way, so we got the lemon tart, and we also have the blueberry cross with the white widow, so maybe blueberry widow, I don't know if that's what it's called, but we're also running those strains, and I just feel like the Mandarin Cookies V2 took a little bit longer to catch up to where everything else is, so I was kind of iffy in the beginning when it came to Ethos genetics, but I figured, you know what, seedling stage, veg stage, you can't really count that in, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just can't. It all matters about what's going on in the flowering stage, and I know we're not done with this run yet, so we might have to make a part two video, like when I do the taste test, and you know, how the effects are for the Mandarin Cookies V2, but so far, I'm really liking the results that I've been getting. But yeah, like in the beginning, I'm like, what's going on? here like the man everybody's talking up ethos and the mandarin cookies are going way slower than everything else but during the flowering stage believe it or not the mandarin cookies passed everything else as far as height is concerned and yes we did mainline them now if you guys are planning on growing the mandarin cookies v2 the one thing i'm going to say as far as we got going on now is i don't think we're going to get the craziest yield like i think we're going to get a bigger yield from the agent orange the lemon tart especially looks i mean really fat and like it looks it looks pretty big if you guys have been following us on Discord, you know, you guys know. So as far as flowers grow, I almost feel like they grow three different ways. Okay, now hear me out. Now during the flowering stage, you get three different kind of flowers. You get like, you notice that like a lot of strains, like the white pistol hairs are really just spiky. Like they're big, but they're like, just a lot of spikes, you know what I mean? I know we still got a few weeks to go, but these are the three types of flowers that you get. You get like the really spiky, like where the pistols are just kind of sticking up everywhere. Almost like a porcupine or a hedgehog is the best way I can really describe what it looks like. And then you have the really rock hard, dense, really tight colas where everything is just 
packed in together, you know, like a lot of the super indica dominant strains. And then you have what the Mandarin cookies looks like. Now on the Discord, make sure you go to the server that shows 420 scene and then plants. They, it's gonna show you everything from start to finish. Every single day I've taken a picture of what my plants look like. And I've actually shown some of what the Mandarin cookies looks like up close. And so we talked about the two out of three ways the flowers look. Now the third way is where it doesn't look packed in. You don't get the spikes, but it's almost like the calyxes get like really puffy, really, really swollen. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much what it looks like. So think about like chem dog, okay? So the Mandarin cookies kind of looks like the way chem dog would look. If you look up chem dog flowering, it's gonna show you what it looks like. And that's pretty much what you're getting. You're getting like that swollen calyx look from the Mandarin cookies V2. But I mean, it is super frosty. With the lights off, I took a picture of it and it looks, oh my God, it's turning a whole bunch of different colors. It's got like this, this pink purple thing going on. It looks really beautiful. I know everybody's about potency, but like, I don't know, I really like when the plants, when the flowers look really nice, really frosty with all the different colors out there. It just has that exotic look to it. I don't know, I really like that, you know? So, and right now I'm very impressed with Ethos Genetics. And something else happened with the Mandarin cookies that I feel like hasn't happened before with other plants that I've grown. Now, the leaves, some leaves, if you rub it, gets like really sticky, but like, even like the lower leaves, like when you would touch it, it would be like, oh my God, it would just be, it would be super sticky. So that's why I feel like the Mandarin cookies, oh man, it's so resinous. It just, it just looks really amazing. I know I'm talking a big game on the Mandarin cookies, but definitely go on Discord. We're gonna have the link in the description below. I don't know, for some reason, the description has been like, like messing up lately. So if you don't see it in the description, check out the pinned comment. I always pin a comment about Patreon. Make sure to expand it so that that way you can check out on Discord so you can see everything we're talking about. We got a huge community on there, you know what I'm saying? So I think you guys will definitely dig it if you're not part of our Discord community yet. Now, another question you guys probably have, I actually have it written down in my notes, is what do I want to try in the next run from Ethos? And I actually this morning and even last night, I was looking on their website and all that stuff, and I really want to try the Booberry Cookies RBX. I want to try the Colin OG RBX, and I really want to try the Strawberry Cookies because I mean, who doesn't like strawberries, right? Don't be that guy that's like, I don't like strawberries. Not cool, bro. Now, as far as where you get Ethel's genetics beans from, I know there's a lot of different places. I, I think I saw North Atlantic uh, Bean Company or whatnot, but where I got it was multiversebeans.com. And make sure you put in multiversebeans.com. Don't even, don't just put multiverse.com because it's gonna take you to some weird like gaming thing. I, I don't know, I don't know, but I actually told someone to go on multiverse and they're like, bro, it's like a gaming community. What, are we, what is this, man? And I was like, oh, damn. It's multiversebeans.com. So make sure you check that out. Paul is really awesome. He's the guy that's gonna be sending all the stuff out. He sends you an email. So this is what you gotta do. If you wanna order from multiverse, Multiverse beans. So let's just say you found whatever you found. Let's say, for example, just for the sake of this, I think I paid 70, 60 or $70. So let's just say $60. What you want to do is you want to get a money order for $60 and then you on a separate piece of paper, you want to write down your order number and what you ordered with a picture of the money order. You want to email that to Paul. Just check on multiversebeans.com. It's going to have like all the contact info. So make sure that you email Paul, all right? And you know, so that way they can start working on your order ahead of of time so it's pretty much gonna lessen the amount of time that you're gonna be waiting on your beans also when you go on multiversebeans.com be careful because if you don't want to get autos there's something that says there's two things that there's two like things that you can click on for ethos there's ethos and then there's ethos the, I think the first one is for photos and the second one is for auto so make sure that you click on the right one because I don't want you guys being like oh man I wanted to get photo period and scene made me get auto so we're not we're not having any of that so make sure you yet you click on the right one. This is the part where you have to kind of use common sense here, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Multiverse Beans, that's definitely the place to go. They got a lot of different stuff. Even if you want to try something else besides Ethos or if you just want to shop different breeders, they got a lot of different, I think they got Square One Genetics. I'm not on the website right now, but I, I know they got a lot of different breeders out there. So definitely check out multiversebeans.com and also Ethos Genetics, I'm absolutely impressed. Like I said, I'm gonna to have to make another video, like a part two talking about the effects of the Mandarin Cookies V2 and the taste of it. All I'm gonna tell you right now is super citrusy. I know that Colin and Ethos, had, you know, his company, they came out with Mandarin Cookies, but then they came out with the V2 version, which is supposedly supposed to be more citrusy tasting. And 
let me tell you something right now. I've never tried the original mandarin cookies, but this smells, oh my God, it smells literally like mandarins. I was actually looking at the description and it says that it has the smell of the cuties mandarins, which are my favorite fruit snack, by the way, like the cuties mandarins. It literally smells just like that. So maybe in a month or so, we're gonna have like a part two video. I wanna make sure that I, that I taste this, you know, and you know, I wanna make sure this run is gonna be done, but I wanted to give you guys a video, a little bit insight about Ethos Genetics and what I personally think about them. Hey, listen, if there's a great company out there, I'm gonna praise them, I'm gonna praise them. If I'm really happy about a company, you know, give credit when credit's due, that's all I'm gonna tell you. If there's a company out there that I think is trash, you know me, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you guys just the way it is, but definitely. Ethos Genetics, I highly recommend that they got the 420 scene stamp of approval up to this point, okay? That could possibly change when we're completely done with this run, but I, I really don't think so. I have a really good feeling about this. So Colin, if you are watching this video, you are the man, keep up the great work. You and your team keep up the great work, you know what I mean? So hopefully I give you guys a good insight, good, some good information about what I think about Ethos Genetics. And before we close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon since the last February. I really appreciate the love and support guys. So I'm going to close out today's video. Make sure you drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like and subscribe for more content and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.